You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. She said I, I should use it to change my four tires in my car tires. Change your tires? Did you in any time tell her you wanted to change your tires? Yes, I think there was a day I, I said something like that to her. Two million naira just for to change your tires. What do you think about this man? Nigga, are you sure this woman doesn't want you guys to look up? Well, the truth is that at this point I really don't care, you know, after what I pushed it to me. I really don't care. But like she said, she said it's for changing tires and stuff. I think she's just um, trying to do me, I don't know, I don't know, but Whatever it is, I really don't care. I don't care. Truly hot. I know that the opportunity is what this woman wants to use. Think so? Yeah, I, why would she just give you two million now? <laughs> well, please, uh, can I have enough of Geraldine. Do you know this is what we call intimidation? I mean, police have no rights whatsoever at all to detain someone under their custody more than 24 hours. That is it. What reverses the case in this country. So, does it mean that Auntie Porsche does not have a lawyer? She does, but the problem is that the lawyer traveled overseas and the number has not been going. I see. So what about the two girls? Don't they have a lawyer? Forget about those girls, I beg. <clears throat> when I talked to Sister Lizzie concerning this matter, she made me to understand that our parents are aware of it already. Yes, I called my parents and likely they told your parents too. We have to call them again. Yes, because Sister Lizzie is not sounding good. I'm trying to avoid my mother from coming to the city here because the music will change to a worse song if she comes. Let her come. Let her come. Let all of them come so that this matter will be settled once and for all. Your daughter, tell her to release my daughter. Else, everybody will regret the action I will take. I can see for I said, call your daughter. Let her release my daughter today. Today, more The action I will take, you people will regret it. Everybody will regret it. Call her. Let her release her. Before I remember to away with more, I want to come are you asking me? I told her to release that girl, but she disobeyed my order. And that is offense number two. So what do you want me to do? Mama, Papa, mm. let me go inside and prepare for the city. That's exactly what you yes. have to do. You know what you do? When you get there, tell her that your father and I are very angry. Very, very angry. Very, very angry. That there's nothing that must have happened between her and her cousin that should warrant the police. And I'm not feeling Exactly. Be fast. Yeah. Be fast. You have to handle her. 
You have to handle your, your handle her. Two people from the same family. Anyway, don't worry yourself. Hmm? I will take care of it. Hmm? Let's go inside. Yeah. Give her this one to make the call. Which of these is the iPhone? You had better be fast. Thank you very much. Hello, Alaji Ben. I've been calling you this whole time. You've not been taking my calls. That was because I was arrested. It's Lizzie. It's Lizzie J, my cousin. She asked them not to grant us bail. I, I think she gave them some money. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, please, uh, Alaji, don't call Lizzie Chi. Don't tell her I spoke to you. I'm saying it because she might try to discourage you. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Get the phone. Get the phone. Here, let's go. Be fast. But you want to use force. Move it. If I use this button, tear your head into three different locations. Because of what? Let me see. We are not alone. Cousin sisters. That's where brother from. You have grown weak. You want to take what belongs to me. But that cannot happen. I was in this game. Before you enter, I am Mama J. After me, Nami, I must show you, Nami. See we have Sister Mary. Yes. <laughs> Sister Mary. That's you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, Sister, fine. I'm okay. I'll just my mom and Papa. I purposely do not want to tell any of you that I'm coming. Papa and Mama sent me. I hope all is well. Sister, all is not well. I was sent because of your case with Auntie Paulina. Is that why you came? Sister, that is enough to be here. Meanwhile, her mother will soon be here. So? And so? Her presence will not change a thing. There is nothing I've not said, but sister has refused to listen to me. <laughs> sister, the truth is, Mama and Papa are very angry with you right now. I mean, what is it that your cousin, our cousin, could have done to you that you didn't even bother coming down to the village to complain to our parents or her own parents? Thank God you said our cousin. Well, Paulina refused to realize that I am her eldest cousin. What haven't I done for her? Now tell me, I brought her to the city, gave her everything to be comfortable. What else? I made life in the city more than comfortable for Paulina. But what did she do? She stabbed me behind. Please, stabbed you. Sister, I'm not getting the whole gist. What did she do? Paulina will be the one to tell everybody what she has done. Yes, please, fix something for her to eat. You hear me? If her mother comes here, 
and make nice, I'll definitely lock that up. You mean she didn't tell you anything? For where? She did not. But I think I know what the problem is. Okay, let me hear it. He's a man. A man? They are fighting over a man. Let me go and fix you something to it. Come on. Sister, I'm pulling a fighting for a man. How possible is that? They are cousins. Why did you call them without asking me? What type of stupid question is this? Mama, I didn't just want her to bother you people. Who Papa is not aware of this. He's aware. He's the one that sent me. Um, what did you do to your cousin that made her to arrest you? Huh? Mama, I didn't do anything to her. We both bought a piece of land. I told her I was tired of sharing the land with her, that we should sell it and share the money. She refused. I got somebody else to buy the land. She got angry and called the police on me. Oh, Butala. That's it. But Mama, I, I need you not to worry, okay? You're already working on our appeal. We're coming out today. Um, I heard that she instructed the police not to grant you bail. Well, that's it. But, but like I said, you're already working on our appeal. I'm very certain you're to leave here today. If you don't come out today, eh? Me still on a police apotata. Elizabeth must have me to contend with. Can you say be far? Calm down, you are in the station, Mama. Ah, station again, eh? Oh, my body, one madam. Oh, Mama, be cool. Be cool. Just calm down. Madam, um, I hope you still realize you're still at the police station. Yes, please. Yes, you people okay. should not touch my daughter. No, Mama, She's no, very please. precious to me. Move it! Your daughter is a criminal. My daughter is not a criminal. Did you no. not hear what she said? Mama, who's going to Keep going. Move. Do you care to join her? Mama, I can join her if you want. Mama, then move it. I'll call you. If you go ahead, I'll, I'll call you when, when, when we come out. So if she needs a man, give her. We're talking about a criminal here. Who is a criminal? My daughter is not a criminal. criminal. She is not one. You heard what she said. Can call him before I lock you up too. Huh. Lock me up. Yes. Let her. Let me stay with my daughter. Valina, you have not taken good or not? Not to worry, Papa. I'm fine. Even you, Elizabeth. Uncle, you know I don't eat cola a lot. Maka? Boniface, my brother, I greet you and your wife. Thank you. Ekene Wangi, my wife, and our daughters. I was the one that called this meeting because of what we had. That our daughters are fighting themselves in the city. Uh, Uncle, please. Let me correct that impression. I am not fighting your daughter. She is the one fighting me. Paulina will not want you to interrupt me. Because if you do, I will unleash my anger on you. Udo, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> my brother, our wives, I call this meeting because our children are fighting each other. What we did not do when we were small, till this our age now. <laughs> our father always told Boniface here and I to always embrace peace and love. Yes. At all times. Hmm? Hmm? And that we maintain. Till today. Before he died, he told us to always avoid anything that will bring quarrel between the both of us. And we have never disappointed our father, even in death. So I call this meeting to make peace between our daughters and also to hear from them the cause of their quarrel over there in the city. Come on, brother. 
écoutez, il y a des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. What exactly happened between you and your sister? I don't have a case with Elizabeth. She is the one fighting me. She has been the one giving me issues in the city. I don't have any issues with her. Whatever you are saying, do not point at me. I will point at you and it will blind your eyes. And I will yeah. forget that when you feel it. I'm beating you. Now, now let your hands touch me. Let your hands touch me. Don't mind. Kaka, you met him Kita. Even before us, your father. Are you mad? Sit down, both of you. Sit down. Sit down, no. Elizabeth. Oh, ah. Even before us, your father. Paulina, please, can you tell us what really happened? I have said it and I'm going to say it again. I don't have any issues with her. She's been the one fighting me all along. I don't have a problem with her. Let her tell you what the cause is. And what if I say there is no cause for this fight and you have been fighting me unnecessarily? Well, Papa, Uncle, you heard her. In that case, there's no need of me being here. Since she doesn't want to say what the problem is, it means one thing. And that She's is... not ready for peace. And I'm out of this place. No, eh, you don't walk out. You don't walk out of mouse. It's not. Ah, uh Genede. -uh. If Paulina does not want to say anything, can't you tell us to? She has to start first. Okobulu no mu buzuzo bebeziani ben muni onyeto. Eh? Um, it's okay. It's okay. There is no cause for alarm. Asam. There was something you told me in the city. Why don't you say it now? Beacon. Hmm? For the sake of clarity, I'm just going to say this. Papa. Mama. Uncle. And see, the only thing that binds me with this, this woman sitting down here is the land we both bought together. And I said that I don't want that piece of land anymore. That we should sell it and share the money. But then she has bluntly refused. Mm. To the point that she got me arrested because of that same piece of land. Land. Biko, I'm begging you all, advise her. Hmm. Uncle, I don't take nonsense. For the sake of her peace of mind and no bloodshed, let her sell that piece of land and share the money with you. Simple. In your, In your dream, will that land be sold? I've told you to bring your details so that I can transfer the money to your account. You refused. I also asked you to send your account details so that I could make a refund as well. Didn't I? I wasn't the one who is eager to sell a land. Uh, wait, so, so land is the cause of this quarrel? No, Papa. No. She refused to say what she has done. Something cost it. Something led to the selling of the land. I'm happy you all heard her saying about shedding of blood. Well, to avoid shedding of blood, she has to settle me. And fast. And if I don't? Then you will face my wrath. Okay. No problem. No problem, Paulina. The court is in our hands. Let's the best player win. I am waiting for you. Eagerly waiting. I am ready. Oh. Hmm. What, is what kind of a problem is this? What do these children want to blame the children? Well, they will not succeed. <laughs> they, will they will not succeed. Will not succeed. Uh, come, Paulina. Listen, 
You are my daughter. I want you to find a way to make peace with your sister. Papa, 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 Biko. Biko! Let him go where you are. Let me be. If she doesn't want to sell the piece of land and let me have my money, then there is no need for this meeting. And please, if this meeting is over, can I take my leave? My brother Boniface, that land they are talking is not the cause of their worry. I believe you. There is something these two girls are hiding from. Yes, there is something they are not telling us. I'm telling you. And that matter must come to the fore. We Bam. shall hear about it. Bam. Eventually. Whether Bam. they like it or not. Bam. Mama, how did it go? My daughter, there was no positive result. Your sister here refused to tell us what happened. Elizabeth on her own side did not say anything. Ikewo. Ha. So was that how the meeting ended? Obuchirimono. I don't even know what to say or do. <clears throat> No, uh, Paulina, you are my daughter. I know uh, uh, probably you wanted to discuss this matter with us first uh, before it came out to the field. Now, I want you to, in all honesty, tell us the truth. What transpired between you and your sister? What exactly happened? Please, I want to hear it now. Ellie's best friend gave me seven million naira. And she was asking me to give her the whole money. That was what erupted the whole problem. To the extent that she invited the police to beat me up, lock me up and ask them not to grant me bail for my own hard earned money. How is that even possible? Uh, so why didn't you say this when we were discussing it at, at, Papa, at their place? I said it. I made it clear that I wasn't the one fighting her, that she was the one fighting me. Um, Chelo Godo Chelo. Let me just ask you. This friend of hers that gave you 7 million naira, what did you do for him okay. that made him to give you such a huge amount of money? Mm -hmm. 7 million naira is not 700,000. Eh? Nebiko, what did you do for him? Otagobi. Speak. Eh? I, I slept with him. Eh? Eh? Is it? But, but she was the one who forced me to do it. Come, see what? Oh, so you are telling me that what you and your sister Elizabeth do out there in the city is prostitution. Eh? No, I shall walk on now, but Papa, it's, it's not that way. That's why I didn't want to bring up this matter. Because I know you all would not understand. What is there to understand? Tell me. Will you shut up? Can't find them understand. Is there any other word for it when you sleep with a man and he gives you money? Mobra, prostitution. I shall walk on now. Paulina, is it me? Did you learn it from me? Hey! Like I said before, this is not the time to apportion blame to anybody. It's what is done is done. So please let's look for the way forward. Papa, you need to talk to our jewelers. Let them sell the land and share the money. It's as simple as that. I really didn't want to talk about this matter because of the respect I have for everyone. Whatever ugly problem we had needs ugly solutions to it. I met Elizabeth's friend. His name is Alahaji Ben. In fact, Elizabeth Sugar Daddy. Yes, because the man in question is married. Elizabeth Sugar Daddy started making advances at me. As a nice person that I am, I went to my sister and I told her about this whole thing. And she asked me to go with her sugar daddy 
saying that the man was going to give me five million naira. I went with this man. He gave me the five million naira. I came back and I shared the money 50 50 between us. This sugar daddy later came behind and started asking to see me again. I went to see the man in question and he gave me seven million naira this time. Elizabeth in question started asking me for the whole money. And because I refused to give her the money, she started a fight with me. That's all there is to it. Hmm. What a shame. Elizabeth, you heard what she said. What is your own side of the story? Yes. What she said was what happened. Alahaji, Ben is my friend. Your sugar daddy. Excuse me. What is kissed? Well, we were good. Going together as friends. One day she came and told me that my boyfriend was making advances on her. I said, okay, let's play a game. I told her to bill him 5 million naira, which she got and we shared the money. She went behind me to sleep with that same man that you know that is my man. Without telling me the second time. And she was paid 7 million naira. And I said, you have to bring the money so that we share equal as we used to share. Transfer the money into my account so that we share it as usual. She said, okay, on her getting to her house, she changed her mind. So what do you expect me to do? Sit and watch her eat the 7 million naira that was supposed to be my money? Without telling me? Who does that? Julius, my brother. I am ashamed of these two daughters of ours. Very much ashamed. Especially of you, Elizabeth. Huh? You are supposed to be the mother here. Yes. Taking care of your younger sister. Instead, what do you do? Push her to men to make money and bring so you share. Five million, seven million, five million. Oh my God. Hey. Very shameful. I mean, very shameful. Hmm. Huh? Hey. 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 Anyway, that is not the problem here. I mean, that's not why we came here. The problem is the land. Yes. Can we just sell this land? Let me have my money. She has hers. We go our separate ways. That's the reason for this meeting. Well, I did not buy any land with you. So stop dreaming for the impossibility. Oh, well, because it's not going to happen. <laughs> you must think that I am a fool. <laughs> I have the photocopy of the papers. Unfortunately, she has the original copies, but this is the photocopy of it. Thank uh, God you Ebele. said photocopy. <clears throat> Ebele, please come and help us and read what is written here. Okay, this agreement is to certify that Miss Elizabeth Ukweze and Miss Paulina Ukweze are the sole owners of three plots of land situated at Mbo Road. Thank you. <clears throat> Are we clear now? Well, for your information, thank God she said photocopy. This Elizabeth, photocopy hold is on. forged. Hold on. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Hold on. I what are you? It is not a lie. You are lying. You went to my room, took your original now papers, listen, now photocopied listen. it, and you are here talking nonsense. Oh, I photocopied it. Yes. Right? You did. I photocopied what yes. you had in your room. You did. Obviously, uh, it is the same thing I photocopied. Uh, mm. My brother, Boniface, mm. <clears throat> with what we heard and see here, shows that the land belongs to the both of them. Oh. <laughs> hmm? Papa? So, you can see now. Of course. Uh, you don't need anybody it to tell clear. you. Uh, Papa, I am sorry to tell you that this paper is forged. Yeah, 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 Elizabeth. Yes? How do you go do too much? You need him too much. How do you go do too much? You need him too much. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! What? 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 What?
My question here is, what is our offense? Papa, we are not in the law court. Stop asking questions. Nobody is answering you. Polina! Uh -huh. Good. Pick me. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I said pick me. Polina, remember that this is your sister. Polina with my sister. One hand. Uh -huh. huh? One hand. Now you can give us. I say one hand. Uh -huh. One hand! One hand. Yes! One hand! Don't you know that? One hand! One hand! I think you joke with me. Close your leg. You think you are in the room hand. with Alaji? You think you are in the room? Hand. Close your leg. Ah. I say one hand. Are you okay? Now you can you can you I can shout. Polina, Mama, Biko, Biko, Biko. I'll flog you. Please. I don't want anybody to disturb me. You'll flog you my wife. Why yogi? Why? Then you flog all of us. You flog John. Sorry. Very good. Sorry for.